Hi, I want to welcome you to this short demonstration about model-based and data-driven diagnosis using a mixing of model-based techniques and data-driven machine learning techniques in a cloud setting. The most basic setup is a vehicle with onboard computations. It's onboard diagnostics that stores the results, then a workshop engineer can read out the results and diagnose the vehicle. Now, consider a situation where you have a large number of vehicles in operation, continuously sending operational data to an offline data center or a cloud, a cloud that can interact with the workshops over the internet. The data can be sent in many different ways, but for example, through mobile communications in 3G, 4G, or even 5G. This scenario has a lot of potential, and that's why we have done a concept implementation. It's a research and demo platform that's entirely distributed one communicates over the internet. And this is what I want to talk about in this small demonstration. The engine that we use is a standard Volvo production engine. The only difference is that it has a development control system where we can inject faults in closed loop. Our concept implementation consists of a number of parts. First, the data comes from our engine test cell or could in the future come from a vehicle in normal operation. The high resolution data is then processed at 1 kHz by a model based diagnosis system. The data then aggregates and is sent over the internet to the data center or the cloud. The cloud then stores data in the database, it classifies and updates all the machine learning models. There's also a web interface that corresponds to the workshop that can look at the data and interact with the data. The onboard system is implemented in C++ and the core functions of the model-based diagnosis system is automatically generated using methods from structural analysis. The cloud system is implemented in Python using standard web application components and for the machine learning we use scikit-learn. Finally, the web interface is implemented in standard JavaScript. Looking into the details of the cloud system, we have a Nginx web server, we have an app server, and we have some queuing mechanisms that makes the work fully asynchronous. It's all based on standard components, and the database is a Postgres SQL database. The data that we use is collected from our engine test cell. Uh, the data corresponds to a transient driving cycle as seen on the left. This driving cycle is translated into a load cycle for the test bench and sample data can be seen on the right. There are two demonstration cases that I will show. The first one is an intermittent fault in the Arma's flow sensor. I will show the web interface. I will run the system on data. Uh, I will gather data and send to the data center which will register and classify and send the information back. I will also show a more difficult case which is a leakage by the air filter. Uh, I will then show how a workshop technician can interact with the data and retrain the machine learning models. The first thing to do is to start up the cloud server. This server now runs on this laptop but can be run on any machine reachable over the internet. To see what it looks like, go to a web browser on your computer or your tablet or your phone. This is what it looks like. Here there are some administrative buttons, but you can also look at some project information, documents, and most importantly, you can look at the data. When looking at the data, you see now that there are seven vehicles in the database. These vehicles are all made up, but let's clear it. So now it's empty. So the first thing I want to do to start with something, I load the data dump that I have. So I just pre prepared some startup data the same seven vehicles. And now I have to train the machine learning models that I have. There are 24 models in the system right now. There are neural networks, random forest, naive base, k-nearest neighbors, a lot of things. So you can see that there are things happening in the server side. And they are training now. And now it's finished and I also reclassify all the data. That... Now that the cloud server and the database is up and running, let's start the onboard system. I will run the system, I will plot the results, I will run it in real time, and I will run it on this air mass flow sensor fault. So when I start this, there will be two plots appearing. 
on the left you will see 14 residuals and the residuals are updated at 1 Hz but the underlying algorithms are run at 1 kHz and on the right you will see a QSUM test for each residual so there will be 14 QSUM tests and these are the ones that are used to make a decision on the fault detection if you look you will see that the assigned car is a Volvo S90 T5 so let's go to that in the web interface see that there is no data at the moment and at time point T30 so right about now the fault is injected and you will see that the residuals start to react and also the corresponding QSUM tests are reacting so after a while the diagnosis system is certain enough there is a fault it will make a detection and you will see that soon there so there are three candidates it doesn't really isolate perfectly but there are three candidates of a fault now it collects data to send to the cloud server so there is finished and now it sends and it will appear there on the web interface and see that it's also classified so it sends that information back and there it appears and now we can close down the onboard system if you look at the web interface you can see that the diagnostic message has three onboard diagnosis candidates but the middle one is the true one so no perfect isolation here so look at the detail info you get the output of the machine learning models where each fault has a rank so here you see that the true fault has the highest rank so this machine learning models could do what the onboard system could not do this decision was based on data which for each residual or 14 residuals there were mean variance skewness kurtosis uh, auto regressive parameters and I want to emphasize that these are only examples of features that can be sent there's a large potential to explore other features so now let's look at the more difficult case. The more difficult problem is a leakage after the air filter. We implemented this in the engine using some tubing. And let's run it. Again, you will see the 14 residuals and the corresponding QSUM tests and this is not an intermittent font we have it all the time for obvious reasons and after a while it will detect the fault as before so it will take a few moments so all these are configurable how long it takes for it to be certain but now it takes it as before there we have the three fold, same fold, three fold candidates it now collects data as before and to send to the cloud server and now there it's finished now it sent it and it will appear in the web interface again this it's classified and the information will be sent back there now again looking at the web interface you will see that the three fault candidates all have about the same ranking so it's not so clear which one is the true fault so assume now that the workshop engineer figured out that this was actually this leakage enter it into the database and retrain the models and that training is finished there in a moment Now that the database is retrained, let's run the same data again with, with the leakage. I run it at uh, four times speed up, and um, you will see that it will send a new diagnosis message just as before. Now let's take a look again at the web interface. You will see that the rankings have updated, and now it's the true is actually the highest rank, but it's only by a margin. But consider we only changed one data point so we shouldn't expect too much but it clearly updated the diagnosis information based on the data that the workshop engineer included in the database to conclude i have uh, described our concept implementation of this distributed diagnosis system 
where onboard model-based diagnosis techniques are used in collaboration with off-board machine learning data-driven techniques.